okay. Oh, Do we get the program there as well? Because guide. Yeah, yeah. guide. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. It was meant to be cloud all day long today, punctuated by thunderstorms at two o'clock, which is about an hour and a half away. I'm not going to complain about what I'm seeing here, because it's wonderful. It meant that five-sixths of our holiday has been absolutely beautifully acceptable weather. Oh, well, there's a little map over here. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I guess I don't really know the layout though. So, I'm gonna have to, so we'll go to the map and then we'll start our... I feel better now I've got this little walk. Thank you. Just line it up. There we go. It's, it's a big garden. Oh, there's a little fly thing moving Paxton's around there. Paxton's glass house. Look. Paxton's glass house. Well, that's where we are. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Look. <laughs> for reference, this is Paxton's glass house. Glass house. It actually says on there, Paxton's yeah. glass house. Joseph Paxton very very heavily connected here because he worked here as a head gardener and helped design the gardens and he designed the crystal palace as it says here 
1951 Crystal Palace. I actually saw a Crystal Palace shirt earlier, by the way. Kitchen garden might be interesting. Wow, look at that. So 1970. That's going to be too hot for me. Yeah, we'll give that a miss today. View of the estate there. And the hum of an aeroplane. And you get the context of the house, kind of just through that gap. How cool is that? Backs of chairs inserted into the log. <laughs> Beautiful splash of colour. So, over to the other side. So fruit and flowers up here. Flowers, dahlias. It's massive. So I've been cut back here. I think I can see Rude Becky is there in the distance. Beautiful, beautiful day in Chatsworth. I can see in the distance some fruit and the greenhouses. I'll just wander along here. This is probably one of those places where once you get up high, there's no bad view. Derbyshire countryside in the far distance. And if you just move your gaze down a little bit, I'm sure even on this fairly wide angle, you see the wonderful butterflies flying around doing what they do. This place really is worth a visit. So it was September 2022, we paid £26 for a ticket for the house and the gardens. It's £5 just to park the car, so if you knock that off, have a look at these extremely large apples along the top. And uh, possibly some berries underneath. Yeah, so there are various different tiered options and there's a playground area for for the kids and so on. But, you know, we just went for what we thought we would be using today. And the spec of everything here is so high. Toilets is often a good measure, isn't it? And these toilets are really high standard marble. And, and I guess, you know, investing in good gear means it will last longer. Wow, look at those seed heads. Incredible. Apologies for not knowing all the Latin names or even the common names in some cases. Let's go a little bit closer. I said to Sue I won't be long but the more I'm here the more I want to stay. Very interesting activity there from a bee perspective. And there's those seed heads. A very healthy looking plum tree. Time of year when wasps are a visit, which I can see. Oh, here we go. I keep spotting things. Pumpkins! And possibly marrows. And then we got parsnips. Celeriac, or celery ac, as a certain presenter of a certain cookery program says. Only kidding, John. Chicory, turnip, salsify, and swede. All along here, as a butterfly descends. And then we've got some more activity going down, going on down there with coloured leaves and it really is something special. I love what they've done here by mixing the sort of formal flowers with the uh, produce they're growing. Quite stunning. I 
and a joy for these little fellas working hard. A feast for the eyes and in time a feast. I decided to not do the trout stream on this occasion. It's about a five six minute walk so if you double that plus a bit of photography videography. Well, I've just seen something up here. I can hear a water pump. I can see nothing. I'm assuming this was once some kind of feature. Possible depth marker on the wall over there. More of an open view of the house and the countryside and the sunshine and the blue sky. Fabulous. I'm standing by the water cascade ordinarily they'd be water cascading but because of summer of 2022 being what it is that's what we see there's a tiny amount of water on the right there but the view here maybe imagine it or look it up from that beautiful building at the top it would just be cascading all the way down providing a beautiful effect but yeah it's just too dry just not enough water to uh, use it in that way which is a shame but we still enjoy it anyway Still great design. Called a rock garden. Some other plants here. There's a little pathway here I intend to take. Lovely the way they've done this with grasses and a lot of thought has gone into the design here. That's one of my takeaways from this place. Oh, there's some, some water over there. Yeah, the whole place. They've mixed old and new artworks in with the sort of softness of the natural landscape and planting. Nice acer there. We, uh, we're not planning to see every single thing today. One of our things that we do is always give a reason to come back again. So if you miss something off, make sure you come back if you like it so much. We are wandering back towards the area where you get your food and bits and pieces. Serpents on the bench. There is a mix of art and classical everywhere. So we've just done a bit of a loop really. And it has been absolutely beautiful. There is some house. 